Hey guys, I was at my wedding yesterday. I am completely wrecked. I was planning on coming home at midnight. And that didn't happen. Uh, it was half two before I got home after hours and hours of dancing. I am so sore. But anyway, I wasn't going to make any video today because uh, look at me, I look wrecked. But I'm following a new guy here on YouTube, Mystic Rob. I have shared the link to his channel on my community tab, so please go to his channel and subscribe. He's new to um, YouTube. He has fabulous deck reviews. Um, I just saw a video, a deck review he posted three or four days ago. And I asked him a question about it and he, he didn't know what I meant. So I told him it would be easier for me to make a, a quick video explaining myself. So this is the deck, this is the box he was shown, right? However... And I'll try to make this story, Rob, as short as possible. You have the same box, but I noticed immediately when you started your deck review that you have a red table on the front of the box. So this original deck has a brown table, okay? So that's the first telltale sign that this is the right deck. Now, you, you obviously don't know about this deck, so you guessing you knew what you were ordering right but what happened was now this is just what I heard at the time when this was printed a few years ago um I don't know how accurate this is but this is what a lot of people were saying so this deck came out it has beautiful coloring to it right beautiful ambient coloring as everyone was saying um and there was massive FOMO within the tarot tube community over wanting this deck right but what happened was what I heard happened was I don't know how accurate it is was that Los Scarabeo printed it without copyright from some other printing company right that's what I heard this one because of the beautiful colouring and again I don't understand the nickname but it was nicknamed the Dirty Pam and people all over the world wanted the Dirty Pam because they were in love with the colouring of the cards right but because there was trouble over the printing, allegedly, there was only the one printing. So people all over the world wanted it and couldn't get their hands on it. I found it through a Japanese seller on Etsy. I paid, I believe, €68 Euro for it. She obviously had bought a load of decks to sell on to make money from, which is what people do anyway, I can understand that. So I paid €68 Euro for it, I believe, um, and then I had... 20 euro shipping from Japan then I got caught with customs taxes and whatever so I spent over 100 euro anyway on this deck right but everyone had it the colouring I, I knew was beautiful and I want it right so I got it now I am actually um trying to sell it on eBay because I haven't even used it and I have other decks that I much prefer um and so I wanted this to go to a good home anyway but when I saw yours I was thinking maybe you thought you got this one but the telltale signs are, and I'll show you the cards so you'll see what they're like, right? The telltale signs are the brown table on the magician card on the box is the first sign that this is the real deck, right? The real deck that everyone wanted a few years ago when I got this. Um, there's nothing else different on the box, more or less. Um, just maybe slight bits of the images um, are not on like the box that you have, for example. But that's nothing major, right? They both have the same little black book right but the cards themselves you on your card on your deck cards is the word have eight rows of roses and lilies there's 12 on this the original deck the dirty pam as it was nicknamed that everyone wanted right so um the real one the first printing should have brown table on the box on the box uh, it still has the little black book, same one. It has 12 rows of roses and lilies on the back as opposed to the eight that's on your deck, right? And look at the colouring. The colouring is stunning, like I really wanted this deck, but sure, I haven't been using it. So look at the colouring of that. I mean, that's just gorgeous, do you know? Very different to the original um, images. Just brings them to life more, do you know? I'm just going to fly through them and show you. 
Uh, I mean, look at this. This is just stunning. Um, Temperance was my favourite. was the Temperance card. When I saw it, I was like, oh, I have to have it. The Hermit's gorgeous too. So I'm just going to fly through them. So you can see the difference in the colour between this deck and the one you got, right? So I thought maybe that, you know, you thought you ordered this one. Because any copies of the one you have on Amazon, eBay, everywhere, they're showing pictures for the backs of these cards and showing the box that I have. So people are thinking they're getting this one, but they're getting the one you got, you know. And there was a lot of problems with that a couple of years ago when I got this. There was people all over the world ordering it and thinking they were getting this one. And they were getting the one you have and there were there was fierce trouble, you know. People con constantly contacting the company complaining that they didn't get what they thought they were getting, you know. So there was major issues over it, Rob. Um, Look at the temperance. It's that purple look. I mean, they are stunning. But it's just, I I got other decks that I much prefer. Um, Like the Jamie Sawyer one, for example. She cleaned up the line work. And it's, it's one I couldn't live without. So I'm happy to sell this on to anyone who, that's gorgeous, who really wants this, you know. So I have it up for sale on eBay. Um, a sun card like that it's beautiful so yeah I won't show you all like the, the ones and have this this colouring in the background Um, I love the five atmospheric is a better word I love the atmospheric colouring Um, what else the queen of wands is beautiful Ooh, the two. Look at the two of swords. I just love it. But yeah, I just, I haven't been using it and I want it to go to a good home. So if there's, you know, if uh, someone comes across it on eBay and, and wants it, really wants it, you know. Um, no, I put up a price. I'm, I'm not stuck to that price, you know. I am. Um, I'm absolutely willing to haggle the price. Look at that. That is just gorgeous. The two so yeah that's the story that's why i asked you the question um if 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 the one you got was not the deck you thought you were getting because people are still ordering what they think is this deck but because of the dodgy images people are putting up on amazon and ebay and stuff they're getting your deck and they're you know disappointed that because it's not the one they wanted you know i just think colouring is beautiful so yeah that's the story one of my favourite cards look the eight I love it and my favourite queen I love her so yeah that's what I was referring to with that question so I just said it to be easier to make a little video um, and explain to you what the name of God I was on about so let me know what you think. Thanks, Rob. Bye. Everyone, check out Rob's channel. Uh, link is in my community tab. Thanks, guys. Bye.